What's up? It's Mike Adam. This is your eye opener music beat. I am hanging out with Philly's own Christina Perry. Hello. Uh, exciting time for you. Second album. Yes. Head or heart. You actually have a very happy song on here. I it's did. the one with that's the one with Ed Sheeran, yeah. right? Uh-huh. How did that come about? The happiness or the Ed Sheeran the, bit? The both, okay. but mainly the happiness. Well, I fell in love. I fell really, really, really in love. But here's the thing. like, I mean, I'm 27 now. And when I wrote my first album, I was like 15 to 23. And right. I just didn't know how to capture that, I think, in writing. Because, I mean, I have had happy moments in my life before. It's just that Love Strong was a breakup album, and this album is not. This album, I feel like I capture every dynamic. But the Ed thing happened just really kind of naturally because we're best friends. And so... When I wrote the song, I was like, this is a duet with Ed Sheeran. And then I showed it to him and I was like, I hope you like this because it's you, you're totally singing this with me. And he loved it. And he came and we did it. To, we didn't even tell our label. We just did it. Wow. And we had a big party. And, and then the recording, you can hear how happy we are, which yeah. is awesome. And he's down because he's like, I don't sing happy songs. I'm like, I know. <laughs> So Why out. is everyone best friends with Ed Sheeran? Like, what because is Because he's the coolest guy ever. I, don't know. Yeah. I need some of his mojo or something. Definitely everyone has is mojo. Best. Yeah, it's it's like good stuff. Yeah. I think I read or heard something that Kelly Clarkson said a, a while back that she was terrified of falling in love because she was like, I, I don't want it to taint my writing yeah. process or anything. Were you totally the same way? Yeah. I mean, I, I've been saying, like, I just continuously proved that theory right. That I mean, I have one happy song and, like, 48 really non-happy songs. You know, like, so when I fell in love, I was definitely like, oh, no, this is extremely inconvenient. Like, I'm in the middle <laughs> of writing my second record. I cannot be in love with you right now. Let's do um, this once I yeah, finish up. Yeah, we'll... But the good or bad news is it didn't work out. So I had the highs and then I had the super lows all in the middle of making this album. So right. it kind of worked out for me both ways. Awesome. Yeah. Hanging out with Christina Perry. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.